All right, here we go. We're on Revelations. My boy's about to steal the shit out of that pack of punch machine right there. Today, I'm going to be doing the Revelations Easter egg using the guns from Cold War Zombies. I haven't beat this map in at least a couple years. And honestly, I was thinking about it. I don't think I've ever gone out of my way. That's an interesting double point. I don't think I've ever gone out of my way to beat this map solo. So I guess today, might be the first bro the drops are working in my favor right away so the cool thing about this mod is it actually replaces the gobble gum machine for ammo crates as well as it adds some custom perks which is pretty cool let's start off the first easter egg step real quick this shit is ingrained into my soul of which tombstones to shoot in what order no matter how long i go i'll always remember the order of those tombstones okay what is this on the wall the diamati definitely don't want that yeah i'm gonna open up the map now just get started right away yeah i'm probably gonna end up having to look up some of these stats because like i said it's been way 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 too long since i've actually played this map got the shield part here also the reason why i chose to do this cold war mod right rather than any of the other ones is mainly gallo that's pretty decent i think let's go for one more hit though mainly so i can actually get the wonder weapons that i need out of the box because obviously to do the revelations easter egg you got to get little arnie's and you got to get the apothecan servant and the thing about using some of these mods that port weapons from other games is sometimes it does remove the wonder weapons but i knew that this one didn't so that's like half the reason why i chose to do cold war for this on top of it i think this one's just the coolest mod there's the custom like hud where you could see the ammo crates the person who made this mod clearly went the extra mile whenever they uh whenever they designed it so i'm not necessarily happy with the weapons that i got this m60 kind of ass cheek not gonna lie but honestly i don't want to waste any more money on the box so i think it just i think i'm just gonna roll with it for now wait let me see does max ammos reload your gun oh it does i always love when they go the extra mile and do shit like that everyone loves the quality of life uh reload your gun also what is this we got the cold war death machine but what is this perk by the way bigger rush hell yeah except i'm probably not gonna buy that what i will buy however is juggernaug and i'm not gonna mess around and wait any longer i just want perks as quick as possible i swear i don't remember this gun at all from cold war zombies like what even is this legit do not remember it maybe it was maybe they added it in later or maybe i'm just dumb and just forgetful i don't know okay is this where the rock spawned i think it is there right i'm pretty sure i saw it it's always just so unbelievably hard to see that stupid little rock Ooh, what is this tactikia sangria and then my shield part should be here this is going pretty smooth honestly i thought i was gonna like have forgotten where all the different parts on this map spawn but i think a lot of revelations is just ingrained into my memory like this shit is literally instinctual i don't even have to think about it okay i'm gonna open up the rising jack area and then i might as well turn the anti-grab on so i can get my shield burn okay this should be that and then let's grab this yeah i'm gonna wait till later to get that free perk i'm like 90 percent sure there's no perk limit with this mod but just for the off chance that there is i'm gonna go ahead and wait to get that uh until later okay next thing i need is i need to get 5,000 points so i can buy the keeper the keeper boy just gonna get my points up i have a feeling that the one thing i'm gonna get stuck on while doing this is i'm not going to be able to get the wonder weapons that i need from the mystery box i just have a suspicion that it's gonna take me like a hundred thousand points to get the apothecan from the box all right round eight i'm gonna spawn in my boy here hey come here come here buddy hopefully when i thought i saw this rock here earlier hopefully i actually saw it yeah it's there hey hop off king actual champion warlord all right i just gotta defend him for a little bit i know that if you just run away from this area at the start of a round he pretty much won't take damage but i'm gonna just sit here and defend him i'm gonna play it like you're supposed to and actually guard him for the entire duration here oh god if I can't aim. Die! Okay. Let me just nuke that. The reloads on the two guns I have aren't the greatest. <laughs> like that, that that's my one setback here. Oing, 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 oing. Yo, this gallo is so bad. I think I'm like expecting it to be as good as it was in like actual Cold War, but it's just not. It's just really, really bad. I just gotta resort to this like trash lmg that has like a 90 minute reload oh god i gotta reload 
No, please don't die. If he dies while I'm reloading, I'm gonna I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. He should almost be done. Wait, what if I count him down? Three, two, three, two, one. Okay, cool. Again, if I remember correctly, there's no perk limit, and it wouldn't really make sense for there to be one. But I want Mule Kick, and I know I want Mule Kick. So I'm gonna grab that. And then I need to head to Nocturne's Houghton. Okay, there we go. And I don't think I can do much else until I get Lil Arnie, so I'm just gonna keep spitting. Ooh, a traditional Rega. I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? Oh no, the, the this ray gun can't interact with Margos. That's not fun. I guess I gotta use a Gallo. Oh my god. This is not exactly fun. I'm trying to focus up here. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I'm actually not dead. I'm alive. I'm living. I'm living life to the fullest right now. Please. Please. Oh no. I gotta reload. Die. Oh my god. What is even happening? I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Dude! Oh my god, I'm alive! What the? What? What? How am I alive? Dude, after all that, can I just please get the guns that I need? Yeah, see, I knew it. I knew I'm gonna spend like half my time doing this Easter egg just spinning the box. It, it's the one shitty thing about having ammo crates instead of gobble gums is that I can't put like fire cell gobble gums on. You know what I mean? Immolation liquidation is usually the single thing that gets you through this map. All right, we're about to be on round 17. And there it is. Okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have ended the round, but I really didn't think I was going to get it on that hit specifically. Anyways, round 17, we finally got the Apothecary. I still need little Arnie's, which is technically the very next thing that I'm going to need. But for now, I might as well start to upgrade this. All right. See if I can hit the parkour first try for this free break. Let's see how rusty I actually am on, at this map. See if I have these god tier wall writing capabilities yeah I i'm solid i'm solid i know what i'm doing no never mind unfortunate well that made me a little bit sad i'll go back and do it later though for now we trek on and continue upgrading this apothecary servant again haven't played this map in i don't know at least a year but i just have these these stupid little blue rocks just memorized by heart for no reason either literally just because i've done this so many times Okay, I think that's I think that's all five, right? I don't think there's I don't think there's six. Unfortunately, though, I don't have anywhere near five thousand points, so I'm just gonna have to wait till after I get Arnie's, because I'd still rather you know use my points on the box for now. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, I'm just like messing around. I'm so annoyed, dude. I'm wasting so much money. Please tell me. I lost my apothecon. Okay, so here we go. We finally got it. What I had to do was I had to literally restart because when I went down, I lost my apothecon. And honestly, it was such a late round that I, I was just cool with restarting anyways because that shit was annoying. I think what I realized is because there's so many guns in this Cold War mod that you're just like less likely to get the wonder weapons than you would be otherwise, which is pretty frustrating, but we finally got it. So it's all good good okay let me open up this for a second time here and then finally i can actually upgrade the apothecon i actually have enough points to do everything okay and then i'm just gonna go ahead and start this step because why not right i think it makes sense to do it on a bug round because then you get the guaranteed max ammo okay that should be the third one unfortunately i did lose my thunder gun and my uh my reiki but I don't really care that much. We'll just do it the old fashioned way with the Cold War death machine. Oh my god. This is honestly kind of better than the Thunder Gun. <laughs> is that it? All right, double death machines. Oh yeah, I did just realize I didn't, out of all of those, I didn't get a single max ammo. So I'm gonna have to end this bug round and grab this one. And then, oh no. Oh no, I hate that. I hate when zombies start spawning in the middle of the round. I'm just trying to check my thingies in. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is gonna be difficult. I'm just like training with a little Arnie in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw it. Feels bad. Okay, let's just- DUDE! Dude. 
That is so annoying. All right, we're, we're just gonna have to wait here for a max ammo. But so one annoying part of this step is, like, I feel like within the Margos that you kill, you probably should get a guaranteed max, but that's just me. That's just how my brain works. Hey, there we go. Max ammo. That only took me a couple rounds. Okay, I'm gonna wait till we're like kind of towards the end of this round before I try to throw the Arnie's. Pack a punch this death machine. Okay, I believe that this is the last zombie. All right, let's go up here. Finally get that into that hole. And then I'll do the one down here, I suppose. This is the second wave. Oh, the pack of punch death machine goes way too hard versus this Margos. It's way too insane. Absolutely, just completely rolled. Okay. Oh, dude, so many bugs spawn when you're doing this step. Holy shit. Because every Margos spawns like a certain amount of bugs. And you got like three Margos and a Panzer. Oh my. Oh, did you see that? Oh my god, I just... Oh, I didn't mean to get that nuke. I just completely rolled that panzer by accident. Okay, okay, here? Okay, I need to hurry up before the zombies start spawning. Oh, I'm not gonna get a chance to finish this. I'm, I might regret this, but I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I just realized I didn't get a... I didn't get a max ammo. No, dude, another round of no max ammos. Why is my RNG so bad right now? Unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to wait again for another max to throw these RNGs. Panzer? <laughs> this death machine literally treats the panzer like a joke thank you for the max i really do appreciate that all right i'm doing this mid-round i don't even care anymore throw that in there shoot i'm shooting this to hopefully kill them before they get through the hole and i think it's working okay one last wave of killing margos then i'm done with this step forever okay um just sit in the back with the death machine and hope for the best these blue margos don't mess around I'm gonna throw my last Arnie to try to make this slightly easier. Yeah, take that. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. I'm, d I, I, yeah, uh, yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. What gun did I lose? I don't know what's happening. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God. I lost my Apothecon. No, dude, I choked. This is not good. I need to kill this Margua. I'm pretty sure you have to kill him before you can leave. Just die, Margua. All right, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Let's just go, come on. Oh my God, I can't believe I lost my Apothecon like that. That was like the dumbest way to ever go down. Okay, let's just play a normal round in this spawn. I have so many points that hopefully I should be okay. I just gotta get myself together. Okay, this is casual. Grab the death machine. Okay, I think this is the end. All right, I did it. I just gotta go get my perks again. It sucks because I lost my shield fairly early there, so it was pretty annoying. Okay, now the only thing I need is I need my Apothecan Servant back, and I gotta pack and punch it again. Hey, that was like second hit. I'll take it. Thank God. Throw this back in here for the second time because I'm bad at the game. For some reason, I lost all pack a punch camos. Like all my guns just look default, but it's fine. That's honestly the least of my worries at this point. Okay, throw that reel in there. Then I can start shooting these little rocks. I was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to do it with the Cold War guns, but we're good. This mod's got us covered. Okay, where's this one? Like back there. Like, that's the thing. I do not remember where these are. There it is. Uh, hopefully I got that one. It's kind of hard to see. I think I did. Uh, where's this one? There, there. And then I'm pretty sure I got it, right? I'm gonna grab double tap. Where is the Wonder Fizz at? That's the real question. Um... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. See, I, I know where I know the vicinity of where all of these rocks are. I just got to like go out of my way to find them. OK, and I know there's one on the back of this wall ride. I know you don't actually have to hit the wall ride to get it, but I'm going to just to be extra. Okay, It's like there somewhere. Oh, I fell off. Okay, maybe I will just do it the easy way. Oh, I think it's on there, right? I know you can see it from here. Yeah, I think I can see the bone floating. I think if I do that, it should get it. I don't know. Okay, yep. Apparently, at some point, I got it because all the bones are here. I just need to do this without ending the round. Okay, shoot that. Come here, zombie. 
Thank you. Okay, shoot this body. Also, what even is this? Fighter's Fizz. Actually, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, grab this reel. Everything is going pretty smoothly right now. I don't want to jinx it, but it, th th this is going fairly decent then. Okay, then that spawns in Sophia. We just got to do this. Is it there? I always forget which side you're supposed to do this on. Um... There we go. Got it. And then... Is it always on the left? Is that how it works? Yeah, I think it might always be on the left. Um, But yeah, I remember this one being on the right, right? Oh yeah, I guess it is just always on the left. And then... There we go. And come up here. What's up, Sophia? I honestly hate this bitch, I'm not gonna lie. There's not really much to like about her, I'll be completely honest. Just a big old metallic ball. Like, am I supposed to care about you? No. Am I supposed to give a shit about you or your wants or desires or your family? No, I, I don't give a singular shit. Get in there. Get in your hole. All right, let's go teleport. Okay, we're in Sam's room. What do I need? I think I just need the Cranorium, right? Don't believe I need to come in here for anything else. Place this here, and then it spawns in eggs around the map. Okay. There's one egg. And then I just got to deliver the eggs to here. This is definitely not a fun step to do solo, considering you can only carry one egg at a time. It's also not a fun step to do if you don't have all the egg locations memorized like me. Like, I think there's one that spawns here, but dude, I do like no part of me. Even when I used to play Revelations a lot, like I did not have the egg locations memorized. Here's one. Oh, if there's one, th if there's one thing I'm realizing, it's that these eggs, if you have your sound turned way up, you can just hear them like gargling in the corner. They're honestly loud as shit. Okay, the last one should be in the Mob of the Dead Origins area somewhere. The only question is where? Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Literally saw it out of the corner of my eye. Did not realize that that was a location like right in front of the corruption engine like that. All right, now he's gonna fill him up. I honestly forgot just how long this Easter egg is. The Revelations egg has by far the most steps on Black Ops, on Black Ops 3. It honestly feels a little bit like a Black Ops 4 style egg in just the sense that there's just a ton of shit to do. Although steps like the egg shit and like uh, the rune step, like those steps were clearly made with co-op in mind and not really doing them solo like they just take so long and solo but you know you can get it done in like 60 seconds and go up which is fine i mean i'm not complaining it's just uh definitely takes a while to to do by yourself i don't know how many more souls i need i don't think i need very many okay this one's done is that it i think that's it let me throw a widow's wine so i don't mess this up and then let's grab that and then we're just gonna go around the map and listen for the little uh little beeping noise um there it is. We have that. Oh, I hear it. Where is it? Oh, it's just there? Okay. Um. Where is it? Is it just back here? Yeah, there we go. Grab this. Then let me grab the fourth one. And it should be on this island somewhere. Where is it? There we go. Okay! Finally done with this rune stuff that only took me like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Now nah, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit. The eggs and the rune together probably did take at least 15 minutes though. You gotta spend a lot of time just literally running around the map looking for small things. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm gonna head to the first of two boss fights. All right, let's do this. Uh, Run over here, we gotta read the Cranorium. So it's one. The first symbol, the third symbol, so one, three, four, one, three, four. I'm looking at the thing when I press tab, I'm looking at them in the bottom right. So one, three, four, two. And then I can just come up here and enter them in. I'm just looking for that first symbol, the mustache looking one. Yep, this one. Okay. Uh, yes, that one. Not that one. I almost pressed it because I thought it was this one oh no was that not it wait was it 1324 oh no luckily we're on the cold war mod where i can just buy ammo for the apothecary easily second time's a charm all right no mistakes this time this one i'm gonna place ragnaroks this time this one this oh god can't see then this one there we go 
Second time. Sometimes you just gotta make some dumbass mistakes every once in a while. All right, let's do this. This is definitely easiest done with a thunder gun, but honestly, this Cold War death machine might be up the bar. Where are the Margos even at? Hello? Come here, dudes. Like, they're all just like hiding out down here. Come here. Oh my god. Brrr. Come on. Can't tell if they're dead? Are they both dead? No, this one's alive. There we go. Okay. It's the purple one. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know what's happening. Come here, Margo. Ow. Pick that out. And then this guy's up there. Literally pre-firing these Margos. They're just getting absolutely rolled right now. I'm gonna throw an Arnie now. Oh, he's on me. Ow, 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 ow. This guy, this guy. Okay, we're done. I'm gonna throw an Arnie. I'm gonna try to get this max ammo now because I'm out of death machine ammo here. Okay. Um, where the mark was. Throw an Arnie. Grab Max. Take this guy out. Oh, dude. Oh my God. I'm jumping around. Literally nothing. Die. Oh my God. Please get away from me. Come on. Oh no. I'm dead. Dude, hello? Ragnaroks. I don't know what happened there. I was caught on like 18 Margos or 18 uh, Furious. That's what they're called. Die. Okay, that one. And then I believe that's it. There we go. The anti-grav wave of this boss fight is a little scary to this day. I guess I am being a little bit too conservative with my little Arnie's. Also, I could be using my shield as well. All right, there, then take this guy. I feel like this electric wave is pretty easy. Kind of hard to mess up. Oh, there, one more head each and then we're done with this. All right, there, and where's the other Margua? There, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, not too bad. Okay, give me this. Give me the basketball. All right, now the only question left remaining is, can I hit my shots? Oh, first try. Am I in the middle of a round right now? Oh yeah, I forgot. I left to go in that boss fight literally middle of the round or literally at the start of the round, actually. Okay, the next one is this clock. There we go. Throw an Arnie. Uh, any situation that's kind of sketchy, throw an Arnie. Do you guys know that you could actually hit the Shangri-La one from here if you're a nerd and you know the lineup? Unfortunately though, I'm not that cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go all the way around and hit it from here. Click back here, right? Is that it? Oh, I whiffed so hard. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. Let's uh, let's just play it slow and get down to like one zombie. Play it slow and, and get through this round by just smacking him with the ball. Okay, this is the tombstone, right? Dude, what, why is my shot going like sideways? Why is my character the least coordinated person in the history of the earth? Okay. Like, why, why, why was my throws going sideways? Am I just that bad at the video game? Who knew I was so bad at basketball? All right, there we go. I think there's only, what? I think there's only two more left. Varok and Nock. Let's hit this fountain. There we go. Um, I'm a little bit confused as to where the summoning key went. I went through this portal and now it's gone. I'm confused. Uh, uh, did it just disappear forever? Like, I, I don't understand what's happening. I think I have some bad news. I think the game is bugged right now. Unless it like went back to its original location. Um, yeah, no. So basically I should be able to see like a blue light in the sky showing where the summoning key is, but I don't see that. So what I'm saying is I think I need to go down and it should fix it. I, I, I'm gonna go down on purpose here. Okay, I'll, yeah, see, there's the summoning key. Also, did that just end the round? Wait, I need to be careful if that ended the round. Yeah, okay, here, I got it back. Okay, we got it. And I'm pretty sure that was the last one, right? A little bit sad that I lost all my perks and I lost the Apothecary Servant again, but I'd rather that than have to restart. No, hello? Hello? No! I was literally ready for the final boss fight. What? <laughs> what? Oh no, my game was so buggy. I'm not gonna restart. Like, the final boss fight is so simple on this map. That's so unfortunate. This mod definitely has some issues with final boss fights, because something similar happened on Zetsubo Noshima. I'm so sad. Honestly, we basically did the whole thing. Thank you guys for watching.